roaring with laughter, so also is this fellow that yells him up. They dislodge rocks on the side of the mountain, they were scattering and falling down. Goats were leaping to their death. And in the months of all, your grandmother, grandmother, Chris, Julia, remembers. The fellow, I'm getting confused myself, the fellow who most represents that Beelzebub is my friend, Joachim. I can't question that was a valet of us. Have you finished? Yes, the thing is. That was a ridiculous story. It's not quite interesting. I'm sorry if I get angry. It was an interesting legend about music and evil. Yes, yes, yes. Then you started. Then you started about goats falling to their death. You started comparing. You started comparing me to some moron. You started comparing your friend. It's a fantasy. It's a myth. I so like fantasy. It's not contaminated by the slightest trace of real life justifications. <laughs>
that I just challenged the Baron to a duel, which, in a similar way, we, have, we, we both had different experiences on the same sailor suit or duel. Yes. I've been trying to write music which represents life. It's impossible. We all experience it differently. Now I understand that fellow who wanted to compose a sonata which Beelzebub himself might have written. I don't want life to be expressed by sounds. I want the musical notes themselves to live and fight among themselves over something unknown. But that is something no one will ever understand. <laughs>
in you, I mortalize original sin by the artistic creativity which I kindle in you. Without art, there is no life for me anymore. I have no work to do among cattle reduced to mechanized pulp. For as long as art exists, I exist. And by creating metaphysical evil, I satiate my existence on this planet. Senor, 
Don Jose Intrigues de Escada. He is the Spanish ambassador to Brazil, ladies and gentlemen. Also, incidentally, I just found out he's also my wife's lover. You must be joking. Hey, Dr. Zabi, I'm the Amzi Bob. Can't you see the horns? You should do your one and put them on me. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down!
none of this makes any sense. Once in Mordova, I went straight to a totally unknown house and with a young lady who I met for the first time in my life, I came here to this cabaret in an abandoned mine. On the way here, our horses drove from underneath us and it was on foot amongst falling trees. You have no idea. Oh, what an amusing story. We must finish that sometime, Ambassador. <laughs> Meanwhile, please, some cabaret. Core of my being has gone numb in an icy 
blast from the center of non-being. I don't know who they are. Now, do you understand? What, Shatsian? There is just one thing that I cannot do. Just one. Oh, what? I cannot create art. <laughs>
come to me. Like, go through, kiss me. Whoa. I've always loved you, sir. Have you stopped being a snob now? I'm ashamed I ever was once. Stop joking, I beg you! And kiss me, right? Oh no, I forgot, I shot her yesterday. <laughs>